Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs and today's video I wanted to show you some projects that I'm working on and then assemble the wedding ring envelope card. So I've been trying to get some wedding projects done because it's getting that time of year and everybody has weddings coming up. So let me just show you four of my new files and then we'll go ahead and assemble that. So the first one is this little flower box and it would be perfect filled with some candy or little treats. You could use it as a favor at a bridal shower or even a birthday, a baby shower, excuse me, or for an Easter basket or a May basket. There's so many things that you could use this little, this little basket for. Again, this is called the flower basket. So I'll set that aside. The next one that I did is this hitched truck. This is our box card, so it folds flat. It fits an A7 envelope, and then you just pop it open. It also has on the back a little place for a gift card. So this would work great um, if you're giving a gift card as your wedding gift, and then they have something that they can actually display for a little while. So I thought that one was lots of fun. And then we did the zip card. This is the wedding ring, and this is an A2. It fits in an A2 envelope. And it just opens up like that. It's got the wedding rings and the flowers. So we'll set that aside. And then the one that we're gonna show you today is the envelope box. It's a box card, and I haven't done a box card or an envelope box card for a while, but I really excited about this. So let me show you what comes with it. I've got it all layered, and then we'll go ahead and assemble it. So first off, it does come with a printable image. This one says forever and all, always, or you can remove the words and write or stamp your own. Excuse my hands, they're covered in ink from the last project I was doing. We have two layered flowers with the leaves. We have a layered heart. This is your first piece. This is your second piece. This is your insert piece, and it has the one layered flower and the wedding rings. And then it has a back piece, and I just realized that I forgot to cut out the second back piece. So you should have two of these pieces after everything is cut out. And I'll show you what to do with it. I just didn't cut one out. My bad. So let's go ahead and get started to as assemble this. So this is your decorative panel for the back. And we're going to go ahead and just glue it on. And it just lines up in the middle with a little bit of shadow all the way around it. And that piece is done. Then we have our insert piece. And this one has the wedding ring, the engagement ring, or the band, whatever you want, your layered leaf excuse me, your layered flower and your leaf. And then um, this has the background, everything so that you know exactly how to lay it out. So all we're gonna do is take the band and put a little bit of glue on it. And then lay it down first. And then do the same thing with the engagement ring. Put a little bit of glue on it and lay it down. And just match it up. There we go. Just match it up to this top piece. Don't worry about this little stem here. It's not going to be seen. It's just so that the card doesn't fold back and forth. And then we have our little diamond. And I cut mine out of white, but you could cut it out of about anything. Um, some glitter paper would be really cool. That's what I've used with a lot of my cards is the glitter paper. All right. And then we're going to add our flower. So we need to do our leaves next. And I do have some older files that I've done where I've used this wedding ring as well. There's an easel card um, that kind of goes along with it. There's a double fold card that goes along with it. So there's a whole set of wedding cards that you could do. Okay, next we're gonna take our flower. Let's put glue on the right side of it. And then just line it up. Oh, come on. Here we go. And then the center. And I've just cut this center out. 
I have some cardstock, but if you had like those white plastic dots, um, you could use the pearls. I don't think it would be too thick. Okay, so there is our insert piece. We're gonna set it aside. Then we're gonna take our front piece and we're going to glue these other decorative panels on. And actually, I'm gonna use my tape runner just so we can hurry up a little bit. Maybe. Okay, maybe not. I'm mean, gonna set a tape. I'm gonna use my glue. Put that right there. This one goes in between the two score lines. This is your front piece. It also goes between these two score lines. And then your second edge piece. Okay, next up, we are gonna go ahead and score those on those fold lines and I, everything is gonna get bent or folded away from you. And I might have to get some more glue on there because I didn't get enough on that corner piece and it's starting to pop up. There we go, okay. Once that's done, then we can add our insert piece. So the way that I'm gonna add the insert piece is I'm gonna take these tabs and I'm gonna fold them towards me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on the back pieces. So if I had my tape runner, I would lay it down and you're gonna put your tape or your glue on those back pieces. We're gonna use glue, which actually holds better However, in the videos, I like to use the tape because they dry a lot quicker. Okay, we're gonna take our front piece, we're gonna turn it upside down, and we're gonna open up those, those sides again. I'm gonna uh, take this piece and open it up, and we're gonna put the right-hand side of this tab on the left-hand side. Nope, sorry. So right, the, le the left-hand side right next to this right-hand tab just like that. Does that make sense? I kind of got you all messed up. You're not gonna put it on the score line, you're gonna put it right next to the score line. And since I'm doing the glue, you gotta hold up for a minute and make sure that it glues on there straight. Fold it over. And then this one should just, this tab or this fold should fold right over on top of that other tab, if that makes sense. Just press it so it's got a good grip with the glue. We're gonna wanna let it dry a little bit and then just fold it back and forth. So that is the insert piece of your card. Now we're gonna take glue, see? That's why I don't like using glue on the video because you have to really let it dry. Okay. You might have to see if I've got another tape runner here. And I don't right next to me. So we're just gonna make this work. So while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this piece right here. This is the decorative part of the envelope. So we have a decorative panel. And it's gonna glue right to the front there. And then this piece you'll notice has the shadow of where the heart and the flower is gonna go. So we're just gonna keep layering. We're gonna layer the outside scallop part first, match up all the little scallops. Then we're gonna glue the inside scallop piece. And it goes on so there's some shadow. And then we have our flower and our leaves. So I'm gonna take one leaf and it gets glued on right there where that notch is. And another leaf that comes down here. And our flower. Again, make sure we've got the right side up. I'm trying to really hurry fast and the glues, I'm not letting the glue dry. 
I do use the quick dry tacky glue and I, I will tell you that I like the way that it holds better than the tape runner. So when I'm doing these for um, pictures or to give away, stick in the mail, I do use my glue for them. I just, on the videos, I use tape. Okay, so that is done. We're gonna set it aside. Let's see if we can move this back and forth without it popping open. Okay, we're good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on this outside tab. And I'm going to take my background piece and I'm going to line it up right next to the score line. I'm gonna fold it over and we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna add glue to this side. And then fold it over. Again, make sure that that's being held down really good. And then you'll notice that you can see your two tabs. That's why I gave you another piece that goes over the back to hide those two tabs. It makes your card a little bit sturdier and it does hide those tabs. I just, I don't know if I didn't cut it out or if it's fallen on the floor. Okay. So then once that's on there, you're gonna kind of bend it back and forth to get it ready to, so that it moves. And then we're gonna take this front piece, this is what makes it look like an envelope, and we're gonna glue it on right there. And then last but not least, we have our little sentiment that we printed that says forever and always. And you can glue it right there to the front. Or like I said, you can stamp your own or you don't even have to put this on if you don't want to, but I love the little printables. Let's just glue it. You could even put that on with the foam pop dot if you wanted to. And that is all there is to that envelope box card with the wedding ring forever and always and then you could stick once you have the back on here you could put a little gift card on there or sign your message whatever you wanted to do thank you for joining me today i hope you've had a great time go ahead and hit subscribe down below ring the bell so that you don't miss any of my videos and have a great day Okay, you've all had one of those days when you just shouldn't be doing things like working and assembling cards. I did a step wrong on here and I, I fixed it. I went to go take photos and realized what I'd done and I fixed it, but I wanted to show you what I did. So if you can see this, the wedding rings are not quite as high as I showed you. And that's because when you glue this insert piece on, when I showed you in the video, I glued it matching the top edges, and you're actually gonna glue it matching the bottom edges. So I just wanted to clarify that. Um, if you have questions, I've done other videos with the envelope card and it'll make more sense. I apologize. Thank you.